Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I am going to show you guys the step by step breakdown of how I created this explainer scene from beginning to the end. So, as always, I have started off with the rough sketch and then jumped into Illustrator to create the basic shapes. For this, I have also used paint tool to get some triangular shape for the hands to get the overall structure correct. At this stage, I am avoiding the color selection process to specifically focus on the basic structure of the character. Once I am happy with the overall structure, I started adding colors taking references from the Adobe color. Once I am done with the color selection process, I added few elements in the background as well. And here I am with my final illustration from the initial rough sketch. Now I will separate the illustration file layers to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I have started with the first frame which is the top view of the coffee mug. First I animated the coffee liquid. In coffee liquid, I have added an arc shape layer then added an effect called roughen edges. I also adjusted the border, sharpness value and scale under roughen edges and added a time expression on evolution to get something like this. After that, I added another shape layer then added wave warp effect. To show the liquid movement, I have adjusted the wave height, wave width, direction and speed. And finally, added roughen edges on the shape layer and added a time expression on evolution and here is the result for the coffee animation. After that, I have animated the smoke from the coffee mug. For the smoke, I have added an arc stroke shape layer and then added keyframes on scale, rotation and opacity property on the shape layer. I have also animated the stroke width and added roughen edges, then added time expression on evolution, then animated the border value under roughen edges according to the requirement. After that, I have changed the blending mode of this layer to overlay and copied it multiple times and here is how it looks. For the hand that is holding the cup, I have parented the fingers with the arm and arm with the forearm, then I added position and rotation keyframes and morphed the shape from one key pose to the another with the shape path property. Then I moved on to the next frame where she is drinking coffee. Here I started with the hand animation for that again. I used similar technique from the frame 1 by parenting fingers with hand, hand with forearm and forearm with arm. Then I added rotation keyframes under the shape property. Finally, I morphed the shape from one key pose to the another with the shape path property and also added a few in between keyframes to make it look even better. While she is picking up the cup, I have added a little head rotation to add some dimension on the head movement. To move the head in fake 3D, I have simply added keyframes on position property for each of the facial elements and other elements linked with the head. Generally, when a character is looking down, the facial elements will move downward and the elements in the backside of the head will go up and when it is looking up, the facial elements will move up and the elements on the backside of the head will go down. Here I have applied the same concept. I have animated all the elements in the Y axis of the position in the similar manner. For the eye blink, I have added a shape layer for eyelid and a shape layer for eyelash and then animated the path property in the shape layer for the eyelid and the eyelash. After completing the overall animation, I have added green texture throughout the scene. To add green texture on an element, you need to add a shape layer with the paint tool and add roughen edges over the shape layer. Then decrease the scale under roughen edges. 
somewhere between 10 to 15 and also changed the age type to spiky. After that, increased the border value and edge sharpness value. And here we have our grain texture. To animate the grain texture, I have added a time expression on random speed under evolution options. I have used the exact similar process to add grain texture on each of the elements of the scene. Then added an adjustment layer and applied an effect on the adjustment layer called add grain to add grain texture throughout the scene. And here is how it looks. Finally, for the camera movement and for the transition, I have tried to adjust the cup and the hand position for both the scenes so that during the match cut, the position is more or less the same. And then also added a null layer and animated the scale property to add a zoom in camera movement. Finally, I parented frame 1 and frame 2 with this null layer to make sure that there isn't any discontinuity during the match cut. To add some dimension, I have animated the shift path property of the table to keep it in perspective during the zoom in. I followed the same process for the wall and the ceiling of the room. And here is how it finally turned out. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.